The number one question on everyone's mind, and by everyone I mean people who have had the intent and even the ability to invest in property or buy their first home since the last two years, but still haven't pulled the trigger. Their first question to me is, are we heading into a financial crisis similar to the one in 2008? So I'm just going to get into it. The first reason why we're not heading into a property crisis similar to the one in 2008 is that the lending standards for mortgages have become more stringent. The regulations imposed after the 2008 financial crisis have made it more and more difficult for people to get loans they cannot afford. The central bank of the UAE has introduced a number of measures to ensure that their lenders assess borrowers' ability to repay their loans, making it less likely that people will take on debts that they cannot afford. Therefore, the risk of a subprime mortgage crisis is much lower now. Secondly. The current housing market is experiencing strong demand and limited supply. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed the way people live, with many seeking more space for home offices and outdoor living areas. This has driven up demand for single-family homes in areas away from the main city, where there is limited supply. And with Dubai being not such a large city, land area-wise, anywhere you go, you are pretty much 20 to 25 minutes from the city life. And it is remarkable how property developers have paid attention to quality of their product and delivered on their promises of a high-end lifestyle. As a result, home prices have risen, but the demand is not driven by speculation or easy credit as it was before the 2008 crisis. This indicates that the current housing market is fundamentally different from the previous one. Thirdly, the overall economy is in a much better position now than it was in 2008. Despite the pandemic's impact, the UAE economy is recovering with record job growth. Yes, rising interest rates and inflation are a factor, but there's enough appetite to fight inflation with progressive fiscal policies in order to keep the economy running. This indicates that people are better positioned to make mortgage payments, reducing the risk of foreclosures and defaults. Fourthly, the financial institutions have learned from the mistakes of the past and have put in place more robust risk management systems. The 2008 financial crisis was exacerbated by the lack of transparency and accountability in the financial industry, leading to risky behavior and practices. Since then, regulators have implemented new rules and regulations to increase transparency, accountability and risk management. Banks and other financial institutions have also strengthened their balance sheets and diversified their portfolios, reducing the risk of a systematic collapse. Lastly, the government's response to the pandemic has helped to mitigate the risk of a property crisis. UAE was one of the first countries to tackle the pandemic problem, get most, if not all of its residents vaccinated, and to open up its operations and business to the public so people can go back to their normal lives. In conclusion, while there are always risks associated with the housing market, the current conditions are fundamentally different from those that led to the 2008 property crisis. Stricter lending standards, strong demand and limited supply, a stronger economy, improved risk management in the financial industry and government support have all contributed to the reducing risk of a property crisis. Thank you and see you in the next piece.